There is science behind magic, and illusionist Jason Lattimore is showing us how his show at the Arizona Science Center is doing that. So let's head out here and play a little magic. Jason, how are you, buddy? I'm doing all right. How are you this doing? This is good. This is the whole thing. This is the magic part, too. This guy's going to disappear like in like, like literally five minutes to get to a show yes, we at the Arizona Science Center because you have just stepped into town with this show. First time in Arizona. First time in Arizona, Impossible Science Live is here at the Arizona Science Center, and we're inspiring kids to ask questions in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Yeah. And so my background's in applied science, and I found out that magic has a great way of getting people to ask questions. It is. It's amazing. But before we go here to the Science Center, some people might have seen them actually in San Diego because you're I, at the Fleet Science Center. Yes, I started at the San Diego Science Center, and it started off at Impossible Science Live there. Then we grew to festivals. Then our stage show started doing all over Southern California and Oregon, and now it's here. I love this. Okay, let's do a little. I saw that first magic trick was really cool. I got and one. what's really neat is that you actually have little kits that people can get to, to oh, take yeah. those. If you don't understand it, it's going to look like magic. But oh this is God. actually just science in action. Oh my God. Okay. Here, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do one just for you. I'm going to okay. thumb through here. You tell me when to stop. Okay. Stop. Here, here. If you would hold on to that card. This one. Okay. Yeah. What we're going to do is I'm going to try to change it up, and I'm going to draw your card on my arm. No, you're not. Yeah, no, this All way right. I, this way I can't change it. Okay. You all right? And all right, do you want me to close my eyes? Am I close? You're very close. <laughs> <laughs> do you see? He's close. Do you see that? Uh, yes, uh, he's right. very close. All right, I'll tell you what, Brett. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, oh, Brett, sorry. I'm going to no, take okay. this, and I'm going right. to do this. Is it the ace of clubs? No, it's not. No? All right, no. I'll put some dimensions on it. Okay. Now this is a deck of cards, and your card is in there. Okay. What card is your card? My card is a three of hearts. Three of hearts. Your, yes. Your three of hearts is in my arm. I'm going to shake the drawing of my arm and cause your card to rise out of my arm. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. Here, let's take, get a closer right. shot of this. You All got right, let's this? see. Three of hearts. Here we go. Three of hearts. Any, oh any, my any, gosh. any questions? Oh any my questions? god! <laughs> <laughs> what? If you this don't understand, so if, awesome. un if you don't understand it, it looks like magic. And yeah. uh, the best way to explain it is. Every new uh, innovation, every new cure, uh, every uh, it beyond our answers comes from a person that asks a question. Right. And so when you realize that magic inspires wonder and wonder leads to new questions, why don't we inspire education with magic? Yeah. So place your hands over this bowl. Okay. All and right. I'm going to take these two pitchers of water. Right, should I take my watch off? Or uh, no? uh, is it water, Richard? Well, well it? I didn't put on my dip unless. Well, well, we're going to find out some real magic. Not unless you give me right. a. I'm going to pour these to your hands. Your job. Okay. Oh. Oh. Have you helped a magician That's, before? No, not really. Oh, you're not helping one now. A little bit lower than the bowl. Oh, lower there? <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Your job, because you're team leader, because everyone's uh -huh. just following along at home. Right. They want to know if there's was... anything in the water. Okay. So your job with your hands right now is to feel around inside that bowl, make sure there's no hidden compartments or right. trap doors in here. I'll get you a towel. No? All right. Okay. And if you would, grab the sides of the bowl when you're done. Okay. No, over here. If oh. Perfect. Over here? Yeah, look, 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 look oh, up like oh, this. Look like that. Is okay. there anything underneath the bowl? No, there isn't. Okay, okay. here you go. Thank you for no, no, Brett. <laughs> Brett, now, in the art of magic, we want you to see over the horizon. That's where the next technology, okay. next year is. And in this right, case, I, I want you to dream oh. about the magic of controlling okay. water. All right. Can we actually shape water into an object? Okay. Your first question should be, what object are we going to yeah, make? Yeah, okay, what object should we going to make? The next question is, how strong would surface tension have to be to make a shape? Okay. And at roughly seven or eight pounds per gallon. Seven or eight pounds to make a shape? Or seven or eight pounds per gallon. What would it take to roll water into a shape? No. This is, oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. That is amazing. <laughs> Here, place, the, place your hands together. You sure? Yeah. Okay. But, okay. But, down but, below. Open them flat so that okay. everybody can oh, see. Everybody but see. Don't, don't pop it, otherwise we're both getting wet this oh morning. My God. <gasps> this is so cool. Now it will ripple. Uh huh. And it will wobble. And I'll be honest, I had no idea that was possible. There's no magic section at the local Home Depot where you pick up the latest shaping water. Right. Manual. This is so and, cool. And eight years ago, when I started this at the fleet, this illusion was not even possible. Yeah. And the only reason this exists is because somebody wonders if it could. Oh, wow. And that's what you're getting at this show. That's this exactly is so what cool. we're doing. We're trying to inspire curiosity and wonder. And in that case, chemistry. And so we have engineering, mathematics, physics. 
every illusion in the show is a different field of science. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is so cool. All right, so, all right, so all right, the show, when's it, what time, I know we, 10 o'clock is the We're first one, We're doing three right? shows a day from okay. now until the 19th, and then on St. Patrick's Day, we have an evening show, Magic with a Twist. So if you want to see the show times, check out azscience.org, I believe it is. Here's uh, yeah, yeah, check it out. We, we post all the times, get your tickets fast, they will disappear. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Jake, this is so awesome. All right, I had a good time, this was good, so. All right, man. thank you very much. This is so, I don't know what to do. Come into the I show. I, gotta, I, I know I was a part of the show. This is, I'm like, seriously, this is so awesome.